Greetings, Grapple fans! Mike Quackenbush here on Free Match Monday, with a match called from our event that was just a little over two weeks ago, Anniversario, in Philadelphia at the Wrestle Factory. We've seen how Fire Ant's inability to cope with his grief has caused him to lash out at virtually anyone in his path. And this was a most intriguing encounter because his opponent, Green Ant, was accompanied to the ring by Fire Ant's friend, Worker Ant. A big hug hello there from Fire to Worker. It's been a long time. Nicely done. Fire happy to see. Ah, come on! What is this about? Again, it's this aggression that Fire Ant has. It Worker Ant, you mentioned, they were partners, of course, they were rivals at first, if you remember, going right, all the sure. way back. The Sail Ant days. But I don't know, these two young kids taking on the mantle of Thief Ant, of course, you have him in that 10-man elimination later on tonight. Green Ant here, who, is this the biggest weekend of this young man's career, this young Ant's career? Sure. Not only is he taking on one of the best wrestlers, arguably, in the world in Fire Ant, but tomorrow in New Hampshire, he is taking on Worcester, Massachusetts. As a matter of fact, beyond wrestling, yes, he's going to be on wrestling. He's taking, he's going to get the Young Lions Cup to bring back to Chikara from Cam Zagami. Right, right, right. Cameron Zagami, the current Young Lions Cup champion, has refused to defend the cup in the Chikara Wrestle Factory on a Chikara event. He's insisting that all of his defenses be made in a Beyond Wrestling ring. And Green Ant. I don't know what shape he's in right now, but he'll be making the drive up to Worcester tomorrow afternoon. That action will be available live for you at Electric Cage in Worcester or on Powerbomb.tv. But right now, stage one of the biggest weekend of his career. We mentioned earlier Danger Hawk, such natural athletic ability. You know, at the moment he walked into the Wrestle Factory, you, you knew he had what it took. Green Ant is a different type of story, you know. Maybe not a day one prospect when he walked in the door. He said, this guy's going to be something, but he does not give up. He's the first one at training. He's the last one to leave. Resilient rookie is an understatement as far as I'm concerned. Every match he has, he learns something for. He improves upon every outing. And uh, maybe maybe the most talented of the recent crop of graduates of the Wrestle Factory. One to keep an eye on for sure. I say it. All the trainers say it. I don't know what it is that Fire Ant doesn't see in Green Ant. And it's not like Fire Ant's talking. It's not like you can approach him and ask him what's on his mind. And even if you could, I don't think he would tell you. Octopus hold now. Variation as he's got Green Ant tied up to Fire Ant. He's got the fingers outstretched trying to hyperextend those. And a big problem in these contests that Fire Ant has been having of late is he's less going for a victory, going for a win, and he's going to prove a point. He's going to punish people. And again, that's a great thing if that's what your goal is. But if you're in professional wrestling, your goal should be win matches. Go toward contention for a title, not to injure a person, not to put their well-being, their future at risk or in jeopardy. Oh, that's been a big issue in fire and matches as of late. I've been in the ring twice where he was walking that fine line of being handed an excessivo de castigo ruling. If, it's your, if you're just joining us, that's, that's, that's excessive punishment. It's a form of disqualification. So when you're continuing to, to approach it and that punishment on your opponent without trying to win the match. And that's this is not something you would have even expected or thought about coming out of fire and uh, two years ago, four years ago. Six ten, months ago. Sure, sure, even six months ago. There's, there's a new attitude and ever since he became the last ant standing and uh, you see work around where you see green Ant in the ring you're gonna see thief ant later you say to yourself sure there are four ants in this building right now not if you ask fire and as far as he's concerned he is the last ant standing and look at the tenacity of green ant you talked before about what this kid has shown as mentioned not the natural talent of course but it's the heart it's the intestinal fortitude that willingness to never stop yep. to keep going forward especially with face by something we've never seen before a fire ant we've never seen before and look at him continuing to battle back out of the corner walking inspirational john cena towel i'm wearing my john cena hat today. oh wow couldn't see it. And a chop now. Green Ant leaving nothing in the back here. Firing up on, on, on someone that he looks up to as a mentor. I mean, if it were up to Green and Thien, of course, uh, Fire Ant would, would be steering the ship. He has no interest in doing that. And you see that patented Green Ant drop kick out of the... In, in, and a second one, he was a little too close on that, but it was enough to kind of catapult Fire Ant to the outside. Oh! Torpedoing himself and landing on his feet. Remarkable poise from that relative rookie now. 
we say relative rookie. He's got less than what, 20 matches under his belt. Say about wrestling it. less than four months. Sure, sure, sure. He's, he's hit the roads, though. Not just what you see at the rest pack. He's out there flying the flag of Chikara all over the country, all over the circuit. As I said, he takes something from every outing. He leaves better than he came in, no matter who his opponent, no matter who his partners. And he's bringing that all today to phase one is what you described, the biggest weekend of his young career. And Bryce, I want to point that out. After that big high cross body and after that clothesline, Greenhand went for the cover and fire and kick out. But there wasn't a lot behind that. I think if Greenhand hooked the leg there, he could have had him. A relative rookie mistake, as it were. Oh, no way. He's looking... He's thinking Brain Buster on Fire Ant? You talked before, that's more Thief Ant's thing, sure. but Thief Ant, Green Ant together. No, they've, they've been working as a unit. They do not call them the colony, as we've said before. Now, right, shots right in the heart by Fire Ant. Oh, raises that knee right to the clavicle of Green Ant. And now Fire Ant. Oh, he went for the Brain Buster Ooh. reversal! Took it for his own! Hook the leg! He hooked it too late. He hooked it too late. That, that's excellent, excellent observation, Leonard. He hooked that leg too late. Now looking to tie him up here. Maybe the, the relative rookie ring positioning there. A little close to the ropes. They're trying to turn him over, but Fire knows what he's doing. Easily escapes that one. Oh, no, he's got his arm hooked. Look at the power of the hot property. Splatting him on the mat. Former Young Lions Cup champ. Former king of trio. Former co-holder of Los Campeonatos. Fire Ant. We've been around for 16. He's been here for over 12 of them, if I'm not mistaken. A little extra spice on that Yazi kick and a Ooh. brain buster. <laughs> and we talked before about not hooking the leg. Fire Ant didn't hook the leg. He thought after the Yahtzee kick. He thought after the power bomb. He thought after the brain buster. Green Ant was done. Obviously not. This young man's got a lot of fights still left in him. You said it before. It is not a fire that I would have thought eight, ten months ago, a year ago, that would not be hooking legs, that would not be putting all his weight trying to win wrestling matches. But yet, here we are. I'm not sure where he's at. He's, 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 he's gotten like pushed back on authority several times. We saw him acting the same with Solo Darling recently, his former. And again, it's these lackadaisical covers. Green Ant doesn't have a lot of fight left in him, but Fire Ant's not putting a lot behind these covers. He's given this match to Green Ant. I know, I know there's not a camera on us, but I'm literally shaking my head in disbelief. A 12-year veteran making a rookie mistake, not putting all of his weight on Green Ant. I don't know if he's arrogant, I don't know if he's underestimating his opponent, but now with those antenna, Fire Ant knows what that signifies, and so does Worker Ant. Worker Ant giving him an earful. Fire Ant have to be like this. Yeah? Pausing for a second, Green Ant's hand, come on! I'm not done! He says he wants more! <laughs> we got more. Drop kicked him right in the shoulder, picks him up. Big break, just like that! Dead center of the ring. Now he hooks the leg, now he hooks the leg. <laughs> what? <laughs> Again, less and less out of each of these covers, but Fire Ant this time hooks the leg. There's no excuse you can make at this point. It doesn't matter if it's water, 2.99. That shoulder comes up, this match continues, and now Fire with a second beach break, picking up now a third beach break, and now he's walking a fine line of excessive punishment, and, and that is it. Fire Ant with the three count and the victory. Your winner of this match, Fire Ant! Didn't take any chances there. I think Fire Ant saw something in Green Ant. Maybe for the first time out of Green Ant or Thief Ant, Fire Ant is finally maybe starting to come around. He had to he had to flip a switch. He had to go into a gear he wasn't prepared or expecting to go in this afternoon with Green Ant. And the same kind of undercurrent we saw with Razorhawk and Icarus. Maybe the, the victory may not have been there, but maybe, just maybe, the point has been proven, Leonard.